I've got custody of my granddaughter who is now seven year old. I got her a week after her first birthday after a long fight. Um, she was removed from her parents because of drug and alcohol misuse problems. Um, I think it was a major life changing thing, you know, I mean, I was in my 50s, I was used to having a good social life, doing what I wanted to do with my life, and then all of a sudden everything turned round and I had this little girl to look after and trying to juggle work and having to put her into nurseries and there was a lot of financial hardship really because I was having to pay for nurseries, I was having to go out and refurbish a room and buy baby clothes it was like really starting over again uh, I think for the first six months I like I used to go home on the night time and sit and cry and think can I really do this you know what I mean I'm too old to do this um, but just now as I say she's seven year old and it's been a lot of heartache because I still support my son and even though I've got his daughter he's still my son I still need to support him and care for him so it's been quite a bit, quite difficult juggling, looking after a baby, supporting him and I was also caring for the time for an 88 year old mum as well so my caring roles have been quite stressful um, but I mean now I'm into it, she's, she's seven, I love her the bits, couldn't do without her and I know there's a lot, of, oh, oh, in England there's over 300,000 kinship carers so that you can imagine how many children some of them are taking on, one, two, three, four children and it's a really difficult thing to do while still supporting the member of your family that the children have been removed for. But I would say it's very, very, reward, very rewarding. When, when you're first asked, you know, you get a social worker come to the door, will you take this child or it's going into care? Your, your first reaction is yes, you don't want your grandchild to go into care. Uh, but you get very little legal advice so there's so many different orders and you don't know what you're going for you don't know what you're entitled to and you're not told about it so what we're trying to do with the kinship support group is get advice for kinship carers as soon as this is happening so you know they can make better decisions about you know where they can go for help what support they can get and legally what they're, what they're entitled to because that's what they're not told. Nobody's told what they're entitled to. But, uh, you know, the group's going really well. It's going from strength to strength. And, you know, we've got one here and we've got another one in North Shineside. Both groups are well supported. Um, and it's going really well.